Today I'm going to show you how to change the nozzle on the Builder Extreme and also how to replace the extruder if you ever need to do that. Um, it's quite simple, you just need a few uh, tools that come in the box with it. So um, I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so first things first, we just want to make sure that the power's turned off and both filament feeds are clear. So we've ejected them from the extruder. And you just want to make sure the nozzle is cooled down before you start this procedure. So give it about 10 minutes or so, just so you don't burn yourself. Um, and we're going to need a few tools for this. So this comes in the box. You get this Allen key screwdriver, a spanner, and then obviously we'll need our replacement nozzle. So we'll just start by uh, removing the fan bracket. And there's just two little bolts either side, so you just need to loosen those off. No need to remove them fully. And then the fan bracket should just fall down like that. This will allow us access to the nozzle. And just fit the spanner on. Just give it a give it a turn to loosen it, and then you can undo it with your hands. And there's our old nozzle. And then we'll just replace it with the new one. Just screw it on with fingers, and then tighten up the last little bit with the spanner. You don't want to go too tight. You obviously want to make sure there's a nice secure seal there so you don't get any filament seeping out. Then all we need to do is replace the fan bracket. You just slide it up and make sure the little washers that are on the other side of the bolt sit outside of the bracket. And tighten these nice and securely. You don't want the, uh, the, the fan bracket to be rattling around while it's printing. Okay, so they're nice and secure now. And um, now you're ready to, ready to print. You obviously, you can change the nozzle if you have a blockage or if the nozzle wears out. But then there are three options for nozzle diameter on this printer, so you might be doing this fairly often. Um, so that's quite an easy procedure to go ahead with. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to remove the whole extruder. And um, it's when buying one of these machines, it's always worth having a spare one of these just to make sure if you ever do get any blockages or problems with it, you can take it off and fit your spare whilst uh, working on repairing or unblocking the other one. So um, it's nice and easy to remove. You literally just unclip it here. So there's a clip just on this uh, section here of the, of the print head and then another one on that side. So we'll just get some pliers. You might be able to do this by hand, but the clips are a little bit stiff. So you just need to bend the clips out and then the print head should just slide off like that. And it literally just slides back on when you need to replace it. So you've got this, um, this connection here, which obviously connects it up electrically. And then this is the this is the sort of clip. It literally just slides across this bracket. So to reapply it, pretending that this is a, a replacement print head, we literally just slide it over over this bracket here. And you want to make sure it's nice and secure and the clips hold it firmly in place. And then you're ready to go again. It's literally as simple as that. Right, so that's the nozzle and extruder changed. Um, if you've got any questions about this process, uh, please leave them in the section below and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel.